water in front of them. Also, too, the way that these sea lions can get themselves up on land, they can propel themselves with those front flippers. They prop themselves up. They have a different bony muscle structure that allows them to do that. Look how well Parker can climb around on the outside on the dry land. When these harbor seals get up on the land, they kind of do this little worm dance. They're not as well adapted as these California sea lions. Now, before we get any farther, I do you want to talk to our herbologist here? We've got Perry. Are you ready, Perry, to join us? <laughs> yes. He's going to explain a lot about how we actually train these animals and, of course, why we do it in the first place. Can we get started on that? Yes, that's right. Well, we are really out here for three very specific reasons. Um, for instance, right here, I was talking to, to uh, Jenna here just about some things before I got on to Mike because we want to get our animals mentally stimulated. We certainly want them to be thinking and using their brain. Number two, we want them to get some exercise. So you'll see them hopping in and out of the water, swimming around, and doing all those different things. It uses all those different muscles. And number three, which is what I was actually talking to Jenna about here, is something called husbandry. And that's a fancy word for health care. The animals Mama's are all participating in their own health care. That's really why we're out here. Certainly, we don't want uh, sick animals or animals that don't feel very good. And we don't want animals that are afraid of us every time that we come up to try to check them out. So the training allows us to really work with them, develop trusting relationships with them, and then do all these different behaviors and help them maintain their health. Things like brushing their teeth. You probably saw uh, Shelby over here getting her teeth brushed. You probably saw Miller getting eye drops. And all the other animals, too, are getting their bodies checked out. Uh, that we're looking at their teeth. We're looking at their flippers, their underside, everything to make sure that uh, they are as healthy as they can be. That's right, so that is a really great view. And I see a lot of you guys saying oohs and ahs and oh my gosh, that's so incredible. But again, all this is really important. When they're opening their mouth or giving a big booming bark for us, we're looking in their mouth, see if they have any cavities, any teeth got chipped or for whatever reason. When they're doing their rollovers or they're kind of just laying down, it allows us to look around their bodies for any scrapes and bruises and things like that. So it helps out a lot when they do these certain behaviors. The behaviors that we have here are not just for your fun and games, it's mostly for their health so that our... No, he doesn't. Yeah, does he have like seven years in the program? Oh, I think it was. Can you see those? Oh, come on. Wow. 